What's going on guys, Sam here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this scene almost entirely inside of Unreal Engine. We're gonna be doing some camera tracking and removing the background in After Effects or any compositor of your choice, but the rest is gonna be done inside of Unreal Engine. So what we need to do to accomplish this is the following. First, we have to 3D track our footage and export our 3D camera from After Effects. Then we import that camera into Unreal Engine. Next, we're going to go back into After Effects and get rid of the background so we have a footage plate of just our actor. After that, we're going to export that footage plate with an alpha channel as an image sequence for use in Unreal Engine. Then we're going to load that footage onto an image plate in Unreal Engine. And last, we're going to build our scene using the footage plate as a reference. So before we dive into creating this scene, I want to let you guys know that I've started up a membership program on my website, which is going to give you access to at least two exclusive in-depth videos per month consisting of tutorials, video essays, training, or discussions with high-level filmmakers and VFX artists. I'm also going to be soon adding a lot of downloadable content to the website, like 3D assets for use in your scenes, stock footage, project files, and hopefully some presets and products in the near future, so you don't want to miss out on all that. I've already uploaded an in-depth, step-by-step walkthrough of how I created the scene in this video over on the website, and I've provided a coupon code in the description, so I highly recommend heading over there and signing up for that. It's like 50 cents per day or something like that, and it's going to be an amazing value. You can find the link to that in the description, and also make sure to check out all of my courses on filmmaking and Unreal Engine over there as well. But anyway, let's get into creating our scene. So the first thing we want to do is go inside of After Effects, drag our footage into a new comp, and create a garbage mat around our character so that the character's movement doesn't affect our 3D camera track. Then 3D track your footage. When it's done, find a couple points in your scene that look close to where the ground might be, right click and set them as your ground plane and origin. This is going to be the center of your scene when you import it into Unreal. Right click on those same points and create a solid and a camera. Once that's done, go to File, then save your project. And then we're going to go up to File, Export, and then Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. Save your file and then open up Cinema 4D Lite, which comes with After Effects. You can also use the full version of Cinema 4D for this. Open the project file you saved. Then once the project loads up in your editor, go up to File and then Save Project for Cineware. Now we're going to open up Unreal Engine. Create a new project and then go up to Edit, Plugins, and search for Datasmith C4D Importer and check that box. We're going to have to restart our engine to enable the plugin. Then go to Starter Content, Datasmith, and File Import. Import the file you exported from Cinema 4D. Now if we go into our Animations folder which is created from the import, we can open our sequence that we exported from Cinema 4D and After Effects. Align your scene to the ground so that your camera is properly oriented by moving your imported scene around. So now that we've successfully imported our 3D camera tracked scene into Unreal Engine, we can go back over into After Effects and we're going to want to get rid of the background using any technique that you like. In this case, I use the extract effect in combination with a little bit of roto work. Now export your footage as a PNG sequence. Be sure to include the alpha channel. Next, go back into Unreal Engine, go to Edit, and then Plugins again, and we're going to enable the plugin called Image Plate. Restart your engine again and wait for the shaders to compile. Once that's done, go to the Place Actors tab and search for Image Plate. Drag it out into the scene, and then in the World Outliner, drag your image plate on top of your 3D tracked camera that you imported from Cinema 4D. This is going to lock the image plate to the view of your 3D camera. Next, create a media player. Then create a new material. Go into your material, check Unlit, then check Two Sided under the Material Output Options. Take your video player from your content drawer and drag it into your material editor. Go into the output settings and change your blend mode to masked. Take your alpha channel and drag that into the opacity mask slot. Take the RGB and drag it into the emissive color slot. Click save and that's going to enable the alpha channel on your footage. Create an image sequence and import the PNG sequence you rendered earlier from After Effects. Make sure that you have the right frame rate set up. Link the image sequence to the media player. Now go to the sequencer, click on track, click on media track, and then right click on the media track, go to edit section, and in the media texture slot, click the media texture that we just created. 
This is a bit of a complicated process, so if you want a full in-depth guide on how to do this, go over to the website and make sure that you subscribe to the membership or check out my Unreal Engine Filmmaker courses. Finally, you can go ahead and construct your scene as you desire using your live action footage as a reference. You can see me building the scene here, and if you want to see the full process and an in-depth explanation of how to do this entire process, as well as how I created this entire scene, check out my website memberships like I said. It's basically like a Patreon, and all the profits from it will go right back into improving this channel and the channel content for you guys, so if you're interested, check that out. It would be much appreciated. I'll be posting at least two in-depth exclusive videos on there per month, as well as discussions with high-level filmmakers and VFX artists, some blog posts, and some 3D assets and products in the near future, and even some stock footage to use in your own projects. So definitely don't miss out on all that stuff, and you can also get a subscription to all the courses on my website, so basically a full access pass. So also check that out in the link in the description as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know it was a quick run through, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the process. And obviously this shot isn't perfect. I didn't really go into too much depth refining the camera track, but I think this is a pretty impressive result considering I didn't do any compositing work outside of Unreal Engine. So hopefully soon I'll also be doing some more in-depth tutorials on compositing and getting a little bit into composure as well. But in this video, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how you can use that image plate plugin as well as transferring your 3D tracked camera from After Effects into Unreal Engine. So thank you guys for watching and thanks for all the great support on some of the recent videos. You guys have really been engaging and leaving a lot of great comments, a lot of great discussions. So I really appreciate that. So thanks again and have a good one, guys.